What's up everybody? I am Snigenhoff and today we are back with a new EU4 campaign after I tragically tragically failed in my last run. And today we are going to play Congo. Today and many days following we're going to play Congo going for the African power achievement. Own and have all cores and own and have cores on all provinces in Africa. As Congo it's not an easy achievement but I think we can get her done how's that sound uh, Congo their national ideas well first they start off with plus 10% trade efficiency and minus 20% land attrition which is nice and once they finish all their ideas they get improved relations plus 30% which is meh to start with a 232 leader he's okay 10% uh, 10% uh, national tax modifier 50% chance of a new air minus 10% military tech cost that's really nice uh, plus one diplo, diplo rep. Uh, province provincial trade power modifier plus 10% and infantry combat ability plus 5%. Production efficiency plus 10% and the cream of the crop discipline plus 5%. So we're going to play as them. Also, fun fact Congo starts instead of most nations start with 333 as their tax. 333. Congo and most African nations start out 222. And Congo and most of Africa will not have the will not have feudalism even spawned at the beginning of the game. So they'll be paying a 50% tech penalty just to start, unless I develop it into my nation, which I may or may not do. Not sure yet. But let's go ahead and hop in in Iron Man. Save it as Congo and get going. Also, we're on the Hungry Patch, which came out. Is it just me, or did it come out like really fast in from Mandate of Heaven until now? It could be just me. So, loading up the game. One thing I'm thinking about doing, but I'm not sure I will do. Uh, so, the age bonuses. You want to complete these bonuses so that you can uh, take these bonuses, essentially. You want to complete these objectives so you can take these bonuses. And... Unfortunately, we don't start the game with any possible rivals, so I can't humiliate a rival, which is the easiest one to do. Something I may look at doing is having five vassals. It'll put us over the diplom uh, diplomatic relations limit, but it will help us tick up our sp splendor. Another thing we could do is own a large city, which we would do if we, like, uh, if we developed feudalism into our province. But let's go ahead and start the game. Uh, the religion of the area is fetishist, and as fetishist, you get plus two tolerance of heathens, plus one diplo rep, and then you get to select a cult, and uh, the cults give you different bonuses you can change when your leader dies. We're going to take plus 2.5% discipline, because discipline's really good. And then different one, different tribes will have different places of Africa will have different cults, and there is, a, is an achievement to get 13 different cults as a fetishist. Uh, look at that in a second. Let's defund the army. Making a fair bit of money. And, um... Let me train up to my force limit. Because we're going to be looking to go to war pretty soon here. Import, incorporate Luongo. Improve relations with T.O. And improve our prestige. We'll take improved relations with Tio. Go ahead and set about doing that. Improve relations. And then what we're going to do is. Do I want to hire any advisors? I mean, I'm making three. 276, so I could I could afford one or two. Do you think I want to focus military so I can take mil military tech as fast as I can? Land force limit, morale of armies. Morale of armies would be really good. Diplo rep would be fine, especially if I want to incorporate my vassals. Don't really need national unrest. Yearly prestige wouldn't be terrible. Hmm. I may, if I don't go with the take on a bunch of vassals route, I may feed and dongo a bunch of land down over here. Yeah, I won't be able to annex either of these guys for 10 years. 
I mean, I could feed Luongo this and feed Indongo a bunch just to save some admin power at the start of the game. And with how low, how little admin I'm getting right now, I think I'm going to hire this guy. Just try to balance it out a little bit. So, I want to... Here's what I want to do. I'm going to have... I'm going to say... Oh, no, not that. I want to say this is vital interest. I want to say all of this is vital interest to get my vassals to start making claims. It's going to make these guys a little unhappy. Um... But hopefully we can still get that done. I have one free merchant. Let's have him just collect from there. Unless you can transfer from here. No, you can't yet. Oh. No, yeah, it's not it's not my range. So let's go ahead and bump this up to speed four and get it get going. I think I am also going to start building the spy network on these guys. My ruler is now greedy. Wonderful. That's exactly what I needed. Have you guys start protecting trade in the Ivory Coast. Ndongo wants... Oh, I didn't want to decline that. I do want a royal marriage with you guys. Let's go ahead and have one of our dudes improve with our subjects. That should be fine. So what did the Alliance web end up as over here? Cassange and Lunda. Lunda, Cassange. I think I could take those guys. Who are your allies? Nobody. Great. And how much money am I making now? 1.1 1. 1. 1 ducats a month because of my tax income dropped by 10%. Fantastic. Thanks, King and Kuwu. You're the best. Uh, I also want a royal marriage from Luongo. I think I'm going to hold off on hiring another advisor. What else am I looking at? Um, I think we're going to pass on, on the vassals thing. I want to start incorporating my vassals pretty quick. So, possibly large city. Just develop the, um, develop the renaissance in here. Not the renaissance, feudalism. And here as fast as I can. Or I could like wait until I get military tech three, but that's gonna be not be gonna be until fourteen fifty three. That reminds me though, I should do stuff with my estates. Grant a generalship puts you to seventy three. Can I? give you a province that won't put you to 80, 85, 82, 85, 85. Could I maybe develop this province? What's the cheapest development provinces I have? Impemba, which is the capital, and Impongu, Which is where? Here. In Bomba, it's 62 compared to 52 in the capital. But maybe I could. Just turn on the development cost here. And right now, click this a few times. So hopefully get them up to the number amount of influence I want them to be at and then in the future continue to hit it to be able to at yeah, 78 should be fine demand military support they to be mad for a little bit but that's fine can I give anybody else anything this is a center of trade isn't it Yes, so this should be, this should belong to the merchant guilds, who are at 39%. We'll just go with that for now. 
How much does it cost? 57? Do I want to just dump all my admin and dip into this for now? Just try to develop the develop feudalism as fast as I can? Let's go for it. It's going to take a little while. Oh yeah. Now they're going to be too influential. But I can revoke a province from them soon. Have to deal with a rebellion, but it's fine. 56 is the next. So my idea is to dump all my admin and dip for now into developing feudalism so I can take military tech 3 and possibly military tech 4 before anyone else around me can and then just expand as fast as I can out here. Maybe that's too aggressive, but we're going to go for it. Make a claim here. Sanjay and Lunda. I'm losing a little bit of money if I totally fund the army. I should have a general. 521. Not exactly what I'm looking for, but he'll do. This will fire in 1454. But I could revoke a province from the nobility right now if I wanted to. Let's wait until they're loyal. That way we don't have to deal with an uprising. Alright, who have you guys... You've made claims here and here. And you make claims there. Now wait on Tio until I can get the... This puts me at war with Kikimonda and Yaka. This puts me at war with Kasanje and Lunda. Yeah, let's just take out the big dog. Riches of the clergy. The clergy have been, the, have been one of the foremost pillars of the Congolese realm, providing not only spiritual guidance, but also administrators, judges, and diplomats for the benefit of our king. In return, for, their, for these great services, many donations have been made over the years, both by the state and by others, to clergy and to the clergy and to the and the gods they serve. These gifts have, over the centuries, made the clergy quite rich and influential. Times grow dire, however, and the state has to cover an increasing number of expenses. Suggestions that perhaps the clergy make a voluntary contribution have not been favorably favorably received. Um, I actually want them to gain influence so I can do stuff with them. So yeah, we'll go ahead and give them loyalty and influence. I can do stuff with the merchant guilds now too, so that's good. Uh, 55, 65 is as high as I can get them. Unless I give them a province, I'm going to have to give them a province. Let's we'll get them to 75. 72. 81, that's too much. 78. Demand some admin. 58, 78, demand some dip, fire the admiral, still just that one disaster going. month and I will declare bring him back from improving with my al uh, my little dudes one more month possibly I'll be able to just stack wipe this five stack as soon as the war starts
Probably not a stack wipe. Oh, it was a stack wipe. Glad that with that battle. Uh, didn't quite get there in time. They reinforced, but we took care of them. Oh, we're not. That's our land. I was like, why isn't it letting me siege it down? What's happening? Naive relative, a close member of our family, close member of the family of our ruler, has proven utterly naive and keeps telling foreign foreigners vital information publicly. This is technically treason, but executing a member of the royalty might cause unrest. Lose 10 prestige or foreign spy detection. Let people spy on me all they want. I do not care. Stack wipe. Keep spreading out a little bit. They're really going after that three stack there? Sharing faults. Some cake King and Kuwu is a crude man. While he certainly has his good side as well, away with words is not something our ruler is known for. However, observing the king with his wife and attendants, it seems that the couple has found common ground in this diplomatic shortcoming. Coming. There appears to be a, appears to be a mutual feeling of affection between growing between the royals, born of their shared awkwardness. Lose fifteen dip, but we get yearly legitimacy plus ten plus point ten. We're gonna get there in time. I think we are. Yeah. Might prove to be kind of a costly war in terms of manpower, but hopefully we'll be worth it. Not quite a negative manpower yet. Disease, up disease outbreak sucks though. We at war with these guys? Yes. So the plan is to feed a bunch of land to Indongo. Can I revoke a province from the nobility yet? Yes, I can. They are very, very happy. I kind of want to revoke this one since I'm developing, developing it a ton. You want more land now? Can I give you this? Will this make you happy? Finished off that mission with Tio. You can come back. Improve our prestige or accumulate money. Have 71 ducats. Sure. We should be able to swing that. Possibly just by finishing this war. I can recruit another troop if I would like. I got a four stack coming in over here. I can't get out in time it looks like. With those kind of rolls, that sucks. Need this siege to finish up. Thank you. Let's go. Group my armies up. Okay, we got Yaka full, full occupied. Pretty soon we can get Cassandre out of the war. I'm not sure if I'm going to take any land from Kasanje. I'm definitely not taking anything from Lunda. I swear, if they beat me on this siege. Am I at negative manpower yet? No. No. 4 9. 4 9. 49. Come on. There we go. Anything I take will cost dip. Well, not too much.
I can force them to become my vassal. 48. Definitely want all your money. I just took money and war reps. Maybe one province? Yeah, I don't want to lose too much dip. I can eat up the rest of them in another war. Let's go with that. And as soon as their capital falls, I can get them out of the war. Or my our prestige. We need to get it up to 50 and we can get 100 admin. I don't want to core that yet. I'm going to give that to Ndongo. What else can we do? Well, first of all, we could be using our diplomats. Scared them off. Yeah, they're not quite ready to get out of the war yet. I do have some manpower, so I can attack if I'd like to. Oh, they got there a lot faster than I expected them to. And we sack wiped them, so that should be the end of the war. The rest of it's just formality. Yeah, we can get Lunda out of here now. All of your money, your war reparations. Can I get any other prestige out of you? Seven prestige. And then let's peace out Yaka. I think I'm going to take both of their provinces in this one. All their money as well. And that's it. And then I want to give Ndongo Yaka, Kumbana, and Malam. And I want to declare war on Tio next. I also want to develop this as much as I can. Try to get feudalism as fast as I can. And we will figure out the rest on the next episode. Thank you guys so much for joining me. If you enjoyed the video, feel free to like the video, subscribe to the channel, and leave me a comment. What is your favorite country to play as in all of Europe or Universe Hollis 4? Which one's your favorite? Anyways, thank you guys for joining me, and I'll see you next time.